What up my nerds, I'm Ricardo the Roleplay Gamer, and I like to party. So every man in his gamepad is currently playing Fortnite, myself included, and in my 7 or so hours with the game thus far, I am very surprised to find a lot of people are wasting resources building these unnecessarily huge forts to defend the Atlas. Now there's nothing particularly special about my own build style here, but it is simple, easy to defend, dare I say elegant, and I'm going to show you how I do it. The first thing you're going to want to do is put the blue glow in the atlas, and no, that's not a euphemism. This is going to show you which direction the waves will be coming, and it's going to make building just a little bit easier. Following this, you're going to build your stairs in a U-shape, like so, on the other side of the fort. You don't want the monsters attacking your stairs. Next, we're going to be building a half floor piece with an attached wall. And you do this simply by deselecting two of the four squares in the floor piece. That's a mouthful. This, of course, is going to stop the monsters from getting to the Atlas, provided the walls stay up. And it's going to give you some room to run around and shoot them all in the face with a shotgun or something. After this, just fill in the gaps with four corner pieces. As you can see, simply produced by deselecting all but one of the four floor pieces. And there you go, you've got a nice ring around the Atlas and it's really easy to run across and defend from all angles. Last but certainly not least, you gotta run up your stairs, which you should have placed first based on the direction that the monsters are coming. You gotta put a saucy little dank floor piece on top of the Atlas and you gotta top it all off with a defender post. Don't forget to put a defender on that post for the love of God. Give them a weapon and some ammo, and then just sit back and let the good times roll. Now hold on, bring it back now. That defender is going to look dry cool and dank as shit up there, mowing folks down, but you can't leave them to do the job on their own. They are actually useful, I was surprised, but you got to help them out. In particular, you need to make any ranged husks a priority because in my experience, they tend to want to go for the defender, especially if you're up there with them, then yeah, they're totally going to go for the both of you and that defender's going to get taken out real quick because they're, they're pretty squishy early on. If you're down on the bottom level, I find they tend to favor you, but in any case, as long as you're making the ranged husks a priority, you know, as you as the player sniping them out or running up and taking them out, you're going to have a really wonderful, easy time defending that atlas. And you're going to have an AI buddy there with you. Oh, baby. This one is for everyone who just has this weird, kinky, erotic feeling whenever they set down a turret in a tower defense game and just watch it like rapid fire mow shit down. Oh, yes, that's... <laughs> It's hitting a spot right there. It's doing something. It's doing something bad. I love it. Now, in terms of player strategy, it's really simple. You got two options. You either stand on the roof with your defender and snipe all the husks coming your way, or you can get down in the trenches up against the wall and shotgun everyone in the face. Or you can do both. I do both. That's the that's the best. Do both. That's the best option. Anyway, guys, that's my adorable little fort meta doing those atlas missions i'd be very surprised if none of you had thought of this one before it's real low hanging fruit but anyway hey tell me what you thought in the comments below and let me know what you think of fortnite are you playing it are you enjoying it i want to know taste the game be excellent to each other and i'll see you next time roleplay gamer out